Welcome back, nail queens. Today's video is going to be featuring Nail Addict LA, who has recently rebranded and gotten a new name called Nail Reserve. So just so you guys know, going forward, I'm going to be calling them Nail Reserve, but their website is currently still nailaddict.com, and their branding still says Nail Addict on the packaging. I don't know when they're going to phase out this packaging, but I'm going to show you guys all the colors that came in my package here today. This is a peachy orange color. I also requested some turquoises and greens and pinks, some very perfect springy colors, both light and dark, because I have a lot of spring designs that I want to do. And since St. Patrick's Day is the next large holiday that we celebrate here in the US, I wanted to do a darker green design that doesn't scream St. Patrick's Day, but is still on the green side. My new favorite peel base is from Kimber's Creations and one of my nail friends, Shayna, has compared it to a dupe of the UNT peel base. So I definitely recommend y'all picking up this peel base. It has become a new favorite of mine. I apply two layers of this over my jelly tips and I'm gonna actually start linking the jelly tips I'm wearing in the description box of all of my videos when I'm wearing jelly tips. I get a lot of questions on all of my videos asking what tips I'm wearing and I do alternate and go through different brands. So I'll link those in my videos going forward. But I'm going to apply two layers. You only see me apply one layer, but I actually have two layers on my nails before I go into my gel mani. Now I'm going to apply a layer of gel base coat on all of my nails. You're probably wondering why I'm applying gel base coat if I have peel base on and I don't want this to last. Well, gel base coat is not only helpful for making your manicure last, but it also helps smooth out the surface so that the gel polish when you're applying it looks really smooth and even. If you're new to gel polish, you definitely have to cure all of your gels in between layers so that they don't run everywhere and that's the only way that gel hardens. Now I'm going to show you guys how slow I actually apply my gel polish. It's only going to be slow for this nail right here, but I'm going to fast forward the rest of the footage. If I didn't fast forward this footage, it would be literally, I'm not kidding, 49 minutes long. So you guys get a feel of how long it takes me to do a mani and a video, peel base, all those things from start to finish. It the footage was 49 minutes long before I edited it out. So this is how long it takes me to paint one nail. I want to go in slow, even, thin strokes. Reason being, if you go too fast, you risk getting gel polish on your skin. And if your application is thicker, when you cure the gel polish, you'll notice it bubble and wrinkle up because it doesn't properly cure all the way. And then you'll deal with peeling and you have uncured gel underneath. It's all a big no-no. So what I'm going to do is one more nail in the same color. It's called Do Me A Favor. I've had this one for quite a while. It was the first gel polish I ever wore from Nail Addict, and it's one of my favorite nudes that they have. And I'm also going to be using a teal green color, this one right here. It's giving me the St. Patrick's Day vibes. That's why I chose it. It's also very springy when it's paired with this peachy color. And I'm going to do my pinky nail in a glitter. It's actually a thermal glitter, so it goes to a lighter and darker color. But I didn't test it out for you guys to see, and I'm sorry about that. Thank you. 
To save time, I didn't show you guys the second coat application of the gel polish, but I did apply two coats to get that full coverage look, curing in between layers. I'm gonna apply a no wipe top coat on all of the nails except for the peachy nude ones because I'm gonna do nail art on those. So if you're gonna do gel nail art top coat after you do the nail art. For the nail art, I'm going to use the same teal color that I have on my nails as well as the glitter on my pinky, but I'm also going to introduce new colors. So I have this white color and I'm going to introduce a lighter green. So it's going to be like a little contrast. It just really pulls it all together. So if you're doing mostly green, I recommend a dark and a light. And these are the nail art brushes I'm going to be using. I'll have everything I used in this video linked in the description box below, just so you guys know. But these are the two brushes I'm going to alternate between using. And I did a very similar design to this for Valentine's Day. I'll link that in the cards. It was using Madame Glam gel paints. And if you guys have never seen or used gel paints before, they're similar to gel polish, but they're much more pigmented and thicker and you don't have to layer. Like the first coat is absolutely perfect. Since I'm using gel polish though, I do have to apply thinner layers, meaning I will have to go in and do touch-ups and a second layer to get the perfect consistency and coverage that I want. So I'm gonna show me doing this design on only one finger. This way it's not redundant but what I'm doing is I'm applying the dark green to the outsides of the nail I'm applying the white to the middle the center and then I'll apply glitter to one side and then the lighter green to the other side Like I mentioned earlier, I have to go in and do touch-ups. I want to make sure the brush strokes actually look like nice, good brush strokes and they're not really choppy or thick. So I'm going in and perfecting those towards the edges. Also focusing on applying another layer of gel polish to cover up any bare spots that might be between the colors. The white is the only one that's most noticeable that it's kind of like sheer. So that's the one I have to focus on applying a second layer of gel polish to the most. While that is curing in my lamp, I want to show you guys how I have it set up. I have my brushes here on this little crown rest, and then I have my lamp to the side where my hand is so that it's easy to cure. For finishing touches, I'm going to apply black dots all over the nail in, they're going to be kind of symmetrical, it's going to be four dots in three different locations, so a total of 12 dots on each nail. I'm following a design by Pippi Polish over on Instagram. She did this exact layout with these exact colors, and it reminded me a lot of the Valentine's Day one I did, except for there's black dots everywhere instead of hearts and little dots on the colors. I really like this design. I like how it all came together. So definitely check out Pippi Polish over on Instagram. She does nail polish designs, so you don't even have to do these with gel polish. Anyways, this is the final manicure. Everything is gel top coated. Cuticles are oiled up. Everything is nice and glossy and beautiful. I hope you guys are as obsessed as I am with this manicure design. If you are, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me. Hit subscribe if you want to get more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!